Hello everyone, this is Dr. Brian Campbell. I want to show you how to enter a journal article into Microsoft Word's references function. I'm using Word 2010. So the first thing we need to do is to go up to the ribbon and we're going to click on references. And then over here we're going to look to see and make sure that the style says uh, APA 6th edition because that's what we're going to be utilizing. And it's going to format things according to that uh, particular style. Now we're going to say insert citation, add new source. So that opens up a box that we're going to put our information into. This is the reference up here that we would like to eventually print out using words uh, references, uh, cita references. So let's look up here at the uh, article first of all. We have the authors, Garzon and Burkett, followed by the date, the year, 2002, followed by the title of the article. Notice that the title has a, a capital at the beginning, word and a capital after a colon, but no capitals other than those. Uh, now look at the journal article which comes next. It is in italics, but actually we don't need to do that. Microsoft Word will put it into italics once we put it into this uh, system of references. And then follow, that is followed by the volume number, the issue number, and then the page number. So I'm going to show you how to enter that information here and hopefully we're going to get the same thing printed out and we'll have it stored in Microsoft Word. First of all, we have corporate authors, so we have two authors, so we're going to put the authors' names in here. That's Garzon and Burkett. Okay. Then we're going to put the title of the article in, Healing of Memories, Models, Research, Future Directions. All right, then we're going to put the journal name. Now remember, the journal does not have to be italicized. This will, uh, Microsoft Word will do that. So we'll type in journal, psychology, and Christianity. All right, and then we put in the year, which is 2002, and the pages, which are 42 to 49. 42 to 49. Well that's most of our citation but we still have to add the volume number and the issue number so in order to get to that part of this uh, form here we have to go down to show all bibliography fields so we click on that and more fields will open up and we're going to go down to volume and the volume is 21. Well, even though that's italicized we don't need to do that Word will do that for us and the issue number is number two and Word will put in the uh, parentheses as well. So that's about it. We're done with that. Now all we have to do is click OK. And you can see the reference right here uh, that's, uh, that just uh, comes out. And we can actually enter those as we're going along in text. But I'm going to show you how to actually print out the bibliography. So we're going to take that out. And I'm going to go up here to bibliography. And then insert bibliography. Now it's inserted in a somewhat different uh, format, so we're going to have to change that if the professor wants double spacing and to have this in, uh, in the right font, which would be uh, Times New Roman. So let's highlight that. And I'm going to change the font over here to Times New Roman. And to match the one above it, I'm going to put 14 or 16. That's what we actually used here for purposes of highlighting this. And then I'm going to just double space it to show you what it looks like. Now we should have the exact same reference here as we do down here which we do and remember Microsoft Word went in and it uh, italicized the journal uh, title and uh, everything else it looks perfect so that's how you put the references in and you can print it when you print out your bibliography or reference section it will print these all out alphabetically and formatted properly so I really hope that uh, this helps you and that you'll learn how to do this.